Hey y'all, it's Chessie Cruz, Miss USA. A lot of you guys ask me about my hair routine and what I do to grow my hair out over the years, how I style it, what products I use, and you are in luck because that's what this video is for. One of the most important things that I did uh, to make sure that my hair was healthy and make sure that it grew out over the years um, were actually two things. One, I stayed away from a lot of direct heat. That means flat irons at very high heat. The second thing that's probably most important is to get regular trims. It um, helps my hair stay away from split ends and damaged ends that eventually make their way up the hair shaft and end up just destroying my hair. So regular trims are really important. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and send me any questions that you've got after this. This is the process that I use when I am first moisturizing my hair before I even wash it. So right now my hair is in a bun. It's been in a bun for like four days. So I'm just gonna take it down from my bun and then I'm gonna separate it and then I'm gonna put all this castor oil in my hair. The castor oil, what it does is it's really, really thick and it does a really great job of moisturizing my hair before I wash it. Because it's so thick, the only time I put it in my hair is when I'm about to shampoo my hair. All right, so I've gotten a little bit of castor oil in my hands. There's like a lot of it actually. Just about like a dollop, enough to fill your palm. Um, and I'm gonna start at the uh, tips of my hair at the very end, because that's usually where the hair is oldest and driest and most damaged. So I like to put the largest amount of product at the ends of my hair. All right, so if you can see, my hair is doused in castor oil. So I'm gonna do that for my entire head, about the same amount. Okay, so we're getting closer to the crown of my head, sort of right here on the top back of my head where my hair is a little less defined. So I'll try to put a little bit more castor oil in these sections um, because they are, they just don't cold curl, they don't do anything, they're just, it's just a frizzy mess. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more um, because I think over time, once you moisturize it more, once you treat it really well, um, it'll eventually start curling again. It's just right now, it's kind of damaged. Um, because I haven't been very nice to my hair since I've been. But try to put a little bit more castor oil there. All right, so we've got castor oil everywhere. I said I like to pay particular attention to the front of my hair, so I've just got some castor oil on my palms. Just gonna rub it together and just add some extra castor oil here in the front. Okay, so now that I've got the castor oil everywhere and I've got this plastic cap on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit under a hood dryer for about 30 minutes um, so that the castor oil can really sink into my hair um, and really moisturize and condition it. Um, after that, I'm just gonna rinse out or wash out all of the castor oil with shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then I'm gonna detangle it while I'm in the shower and then come back out here and style it. Hey y'all, I'm back. I've just washed my hair. I washed all the castor oil out. Um, to explain a little bit about that process. So I experiment with a lot of products. Right now I'm using the Chi Aloe Vera with Agave Nectar line. I love it. I just love the bottles too. It's like so cute. Blue's my favorite color. And for shampoo, I usually start at my roots and move down to the ends of my hair because usually my roots will get oily first. Um, the ends of my hair will stay dry mostly. So, you know, shampoo, heavy here, lighter as we go down. So I rinse all that out and then I'll take the Chi um, Curls Define Detangling Conditioner and I'm really heavy handed with this. This is why the bottle is empty now <laughs> because I've used so much of it. Um, but you know, I'll take some of the conditioner. I'll start at the ends of my hair because again, the ends of my hair get really dry. So I'll start there, be really heavy handed at the ends and then kind of move up to the top of my hair where it usually stays a little bit more conditioned. Um, then I'll usually take like a paddle brush while the conditioner is in my hair while I'm in the shower and I'll start at the ends of my hair and just brush it out while the conditioner is in it. So now that my hair is all clean, um, I usually don't towel dry it because um, there are a lot of towels that can be kind of rough on your hair. So instead of towel drying it, this is literally straight out the dry, I mean straight out of the shower. All I've done is like squeeze it kind of dry um, and then put it up in a bun. So 
even though you're supposed to do the castor oil every shampoo, which may be, you know, every one or two weeks, um, every few weeks to like a month, I'll also do a protein treatment. What I'll do is I'll just take, um, you know, a protein that I've bought online, I'll squeeze a bunch of it out and I'll put it in my hair um, throughout the entire thing. And then I'm gonna put my cap on and sit under it for a little bit. All right, so the protein you can end up overusing. That's why I only use a protein treatment every month or so. I was kind of overdoing it for a while and it made my hair really, um, honestly, kind of dry. Uh, and I think that's because, you know, I've talked to my sister about it and if you use too much protein on your hair, um, there can just be a protein buildup and it just makes your hair stiff, makes it look dry, makes it look like you've got too much product in it. So I would only do it like, you know, once a month. Um, and other than that, you know, just stick with the castor oil treatment. Um, so what the protein does is it helps with curl definition. You know, the castor oil is more for hydration, making sure that you've got um, well-conditioned hair. And the protein treatment is about making sure that your curls are actually defined. So what I'm gonna do, you can see I'm just putting a small amount of protein, about that much, on my hands. Um, gonna rub it on my hands and then just put it pretty thoroughly into my hair. All right, so I've got, got my little alien cap on again. Okay, I'm gonna sit under the dryer for about five minutes. this protein in my hair. So I'm gonna go over to my bathroom. I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna rinse this out really well uh, and just finger comb it while I'm doing that and I'll be back. So now that I've rinsed it out, I am going to start styling my hair. I'm gonna start sectioning it off and I'm gonna put a leave-in conditioner in it and then I'm gonna put a um, curl cream slash gel in it I don't like using a lot of just regular soft hold creams because my hair needs something with a little bit of hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, Chi, it's from their aloe vera with agave nectar line, their curls to fine line. They've got a humidity resistant leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to start with this and put this all throughout my hair and then I'm going to follow up with the uh, control gel. Let's see, I've already started using it, a lot of it, I use this stuff all the time. Um, I, I'm gonna use both of these because again, I really like having a leave-in conditioner because my hair needs moisture all the time. It needs stuff to condition it. And so having a leave-in conditioner is really important to me. And then I'll also follow up with a gel to define my curls and make sure that, um, you know, I reduce frizz as much as possible. All right, so I've got some of the leave-in on my hair. I'm just gonna, uh, again, I'm very heavy-handed with almost all the products that I use. Then I'm gonna follow up with the control gel. I've got kind of like a dollop in my palm right here. This is just for this section. Because my hair, I've got a lot of hair, it's really thick. And so I need typically a good amount of product in it. I usually like to actually individually finger curl every curl, which takes a very, very long time. You know, I'll put the uh, leave-in conditioner on, I'll put the curl, the control gel on, and then I'll get a little bit more. I'm just gonna rub it on like the top of my fingers and I'm going to take each curl and finger curl it. So I'm just taking a curl and curling it. And usually, if you can see, usually the curls are already in their own little groups like this one was. So this one right here is already in its own little section. So I'm just gonna take that, wrap my finger around it and pull it down. So you're really just finding where the sort of natural curl pattern is. And then you're just taking it and helping it along, so to speak. See the difference here? This hair is dropping in pieces and this is not. See? This one's dropping in giant chunks. This one's dropping in like individual strands. It just looks better when you dry it. Um, so I'm gonna finish. I'm going to go through this section, just like I went through this section, go through the rest of my hair and finger curl every single strand. So I have just finished adding all of the product to my hair, finger curling every single piece. 
and you can see it's pretty well defined, really curly. It's got a lot of product in it. Um, but even though I added a lot of product, there's not a whole lot of product buildup. Like you can't see little white pieces anywhere, which is perfect, just the way that I want it. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to dry my hair. It's just a regular dryer that she has. It's pretty cool, pretty lightweight. Um, and then it comes with a diffuser that you can add. The diffuser is pretty cool because it's cupped. So it'll cup your hair when you put um, your hair into the, the actual diffuser. And then to put it on, you just slip it into this little piece here. So you can come right back out. And then you just turn it to lock it. Just like that. So I'll do the low setting, which will take longer to dry. But for me, it's like a little less heat, a little less hot air constantly blowing at my hair. So I'm gonna use it on low for the entire time. Now I do like big, giant, full, voluminous hair. And so when I diffuse it, I won't just diffuse it sitting here like this. I always flip my hair over and diffuse it that way so that it's a little bigger. I always take a little bit of argan oil um, halfway through diffusing my hair, put it on my hands and then put a little bit of it on my hair. I just squeeze that onto my hands. I usually use like two drops of it or two full droppers. So I've got some of that in there. You can kind of see a little bit. It's got a lot of argan oil. Take it, rub my hands together, and I'm just going to squeeze it into my hair. So that's how I do my hair. That's my hair process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are able to use some of these tips and, you know, make sure that your hair stays healthy.